Welcome to this Absolute Beginner's Blender tutorial number 14, part 4. In this, we will divide this object up into vertex groups, assign materials, and animate it. Uh, here, I have already selected everything that is not the cone by basically selecting these visible cone parts and then doing Control i if I do Control i here. See, what, this is what I have manually selected, and then I create to control I to, to get everything else. So, and then I'll, what I want to do is create what's called a vertex group. You find that under the properties, object data, object data right there, and you add a vertex group, give it a name, call it, I'm going to call this one frame. And I assign the vertices to that. I can deselect it and then select it. So now I know it works. I have a vertex group. And of course, in the middle one here, I've already done so for several areas. And I have a frame. I can press A here to. I have the frame. Select that. Deselect. The cone. Select. Deselect. The suspension, select that one, deselect. And the driver, select, deselect. So I have chosen several areas of this model to have certain functional names. Then I can go one step further and assign materials to those. Of course, the materials depend on material slots. So I'll shift to the material slot um, window. See here, okay, there. So, and because I in, in previously I have created these materials, and we'll start at the top, blue steel is a material that is using Fresnel. Diffuse shading, a blue color, clear blue color. The intensity is about a half. Fresnel is 1.5 and the factor is 1.5. It's using blin specularity, white specular color and intensity 0.5, hardness of 100 and uh, a refractive index of five. So that's how that is created and then the rubber also using a Fresnel, same factors, basically same intensity, different color, a dark blue. Blind specularity, also same intensity, but a lower hardness, just 10. So that's kind of a derivative of the first one in a sense. And then the cone material, it's also a Fresnel, it's half intensity 0 0.54 in this case, 1.5. Fresnel and factor and specularity, blin, same hardness, just lesser intensity. Just less intensity, that's all that's happened with this cone material here. And driver material is just a simple red Lambert 0 0.814 intensity and just with blin um, specularity. And hardness 50. Refractive index five. And then I have created a, an alternate dome material just to demonstrate how you can um, change this by going into edit mode and then decide that I'm going to use assign. I have chosen this material slot and I'm assigning that. Okay. No, that doesn't work so good. Let's what we're going to do here. We know the dome. We can press the driver material and select that. Th that's one way of knowing it. Just like we can also go into this area here, the vertex groups. Go to the driver and select that. That's another way of selecting that particular spot um, those particular vertices go back to materials 
I have all of this selected now and I can assign, I choose another material slot and I assign that to it. So now it's green instead of red. We'll change that back to red. So now we're going to animate this by going, changing to this layer here. This one has been prepared for animation. I have also changed the modeling a little bit. I talked about that later. First, we'll just need to look at the animation part. And that's happening in the modifiers group. We have the subsurface modifier all ready to make the surfaces look the way they do. And then here's I've added the wave modifier. So I can add modifier wave. So I don't need one more wave modifier. Let's just show you how, what it looks like. I'll remove that one. Just keep the one that I already have. And what I've done here is I've decided to use normals and the Z normal for this movement. And I'm using the cone vertex group for this. So I want the frame to be still, but the cone to move. And I've adjusted the speed and the height and the width and narrowness to get the kind of movement that I would like to have. And now I'll play this. Okay. Okay, of course it doesn't work because I've deselected it doesn't. Now I'll select that. So it will be active while I play uh, in the object view mood. And there you go. So it looks like there's this sound movement. And if you change any of the parameters, it will if you increase the speed, for instance, you increase the frequency. If you increase the height, it will bounce out further. Look ridiculous. And the narrowness help if you have a wider, then it will be more continuous and just keep pulsing. If you have a more narrow, speed a little bit. So as you manipulate these parameters, you can make this particular part of your object move and all the other parts of the object is still. So that concludes this, this tutorial and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll, this is the end of tutorial 14. And um, that's it. Thank you and uh, have a good day. Bye bye.